Previously on Mass Effect 2. We can't dodge this guy forever, Edie. Get us the hell out of here. Looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Klendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target, a 37 million year old derelict Reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I get the feeling this isn't gonna be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See ya, Commander. Attitude roll, 35.10, pitch 64.18, yaw 10.28. Sometimes I get the urge to turn off the internal compensators and pull a crazy Ivan, you know? You know what pisses me off? Calling this the cockpit. Alliance ships have bridges. Asari have cockpits. Oh wait, no they don't. I was thinking of installing some lava lamps, maybe Christmas lights for ambience? What do you think? No messages for you, Commander. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Felt good to take that collector ship, but we need to find a way to take it to them. That's a big step. 
may as well be out in airlock. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? This crew is as good as it can be. We've got a shot. A long shot, but it's a hell of a lot better than nothing. Anything else, Commander? We'll talk later. Commander. Shop, Joker. Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. There's a second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the radar paints its silhouette as gap. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's mass effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh? Field is clear! You said there's Geth in here, right? Reaper indoctrination is an insidious means of corrupting organic minds, reprogramming the brain through physical and psychological conditioning, using electromagnetic fields, infrasonic and ultrasonic noise, and other subliminal methods. The Reaper's resulting control over the limbic system leaves the victim highly susceptible to its suggestions. Organics undergoing indoctrination may complain of headaches and buzzing or ringing in their ears. As time passes, they have feelings of being watched and hallucinations of ghostly presences. Ultimately, the Reaper gains the ability to use the victim's body to amplify its signals, manifesting as alien voices in the mind. 
Indoctrination can create perfect deep cover agents. A Reaper's suggestions can manipulate victims into betraying friends, trusting enemies, or viewing the Reaper itself with superstitious awe. Should a Reaper subvert a well-placed political or military leader, the resulting chaos can bring down nations. Long-term physical effects of the manipulation are unsustainable. Higher mental functioning decays, ultimately leaving the victim a gibbering animal. Rapid indoctrination is possible, but causes this decay in days or weeks. Slow, patient indoctrination allows the thrall to last for months or years. happened the reaper put up kinetic barriers i don't think we can get through from our side you've got to be kidding me i need options joker what have you got for me shepherd a kinetic barrier can only be produced by a mass effect generator that is true for any ship even a reaper at the moment of activation i detected a heat spike in what is likely the rex mass effect core sending the coordinates now be advised this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. If any helmsman can pull us off this thing before it reaches crush depth, it's you. We'll make a sweep for survivors and recover what data we can. Stand by. Aye, aye. Good hunting. This is disconcerting. Did the Geth do all this? You're married? You never mentioned that. Katie had anger management issues. When my brother got married, the best man tried to hit on her. She kicked him down the church steps. But what? Katie's my wife. I, I must have told you this story. No, I know my wife. I remember, that day was the only time I saw her wear stockings. Yeah, the, the kind with seams up the back. That's what I remember, too. What the hell is this? How can we remember the same thing? It sounds like the Reaper was affecting their minds. Eyes ahead! They could be used as improvised weapons. We didn't know whether the technology to make husks came from the Geth or from Sovereign. Guess it's Reaper tech. Not that it matters to these guys. Easy enough! Right!
held those husks for us. This should come in handy. Distribution suggests that their Reaper technology shared with the Geth. See how the room's arranged? They treated this thing like some kind of altar. You're saying they wanted to be... to have this done to them? You heard the logs? They were seeing things, hearing things. They were being indoctrinated. How you holding up? Five by five, ma'am. Bad memories. It's not a problem. This might be useful. Our sniper. What kind of Geth talks? Knows your name. Geth don't generally operate alone. Charge him up! Here we go!
him up! Going up a barrier. This must be it. So the team did recover it. But where are they? know not to try. You sure about this? There's no time for a debate. Move out. Hang on, folks! Open the port side airlock. we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus's cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? 
Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up, interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. So what about this Reaper IFF? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. Linking it with the Normandy systems poses certain risks. I trust you, Edie. I know you won't let anything happen to the ship. Understood, Shepard. It may take several hours before the IFF is ready for shakedown. I will alert you as soon as it is ready. Sounds good. Till then, it's business as usual. Crew dismissed. <laughs>